Now, Simon, I'm really excited about this because this is our pick of the week. And I think it's important for our listeners to understand that we go through great effort to vet out and find the right opportunities that we ourselves either invest in or would invest in. So it's very important for them to know that. Well, this is a new one. And, you know, I think most people would love to have a medical building in their portfolio (laughs) at the risk of sounding silly. But, you know, unless you've got a couple million bucks, uh, you know, it's not really... It's hard to do. It's not really open to most people. But the idea of having doctors and dentists... As as your your, tenants? As your tenants is is wonderful. But we've we've actually found an opportunity where you can actually have a, a piece of this type of investment, either as an end user, if you are in the business, if you're a professional or if you're in the medical business, or if you're just... A, a, a want to be investor and have these kinds of people, these quality businesses yeah. as your tenants. And joining us here in studio to tell us all about it is Paolo Abate with University Heights. Paolo, welcome to studio. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, yeah. thrilled to have you and to learn more about this. How did this project come about? I mean, your company is the Real Wealth Group. And you've been around for over for for many many years now, and and you've been involved in both residential commercial investments, as I as I understand. Correct. But how did this project come about? All of our projects really come about from the result of a tremendous amount of due diligence, really scanning. Predominantly, it's Toronto and the GTA that we focus on, and you know our investment philosophy isn't really rocket science. We want to identify properties that are either zoned for the use that we're uh, applying to the city for uh, or already listed in the official plan uh, mm-hmm. of a city. And we're really looking for properties that are along major public transportation um, lines. That's a key consideration, isn't yeah. it? And we're talking about University Heights. So this is a medical and professional center. And give us the location of that. And that's right at the Finch and Keel intersection. Specifically, uh, the property sits uh, 200 meters east of Keel Street on Finch, okay. which is 200 meters from the doorstep of a brand new transit hub that's so coming on So it's expected to be one of Toronto's biggest transit hubs, correct? You bet. Yeah. It's uh, projected, the TTC projects that this specific intersection, when both the TTC and LRT uh, come on board, will boast more riders and more commuters than the Spadina and Bloor TTC station, so which is incredible. So it'll have a direct connection to Union Station, the new Finch West Subway and LRT steps away, which is amazing. Close to Yorkdale Mall, New Humber River's Super Hospital will be close by, and of course, Downsview Park and York University. That's not a bad location. We think it's the most exciting location in all of the GTA. Uh, never um, really since the construction of Union Station have we seen uh, a new interchange like this that's marrying these... Uh, forms of public transportation. Yeah, and we're not talking maybe here. This is for sure, and it's mm-hmm. scheduled to be completed in the next two years. So, I mean, uh, values have already you know skyrocketed in the area. Development has been impacted in the area. So, in addition to the new transit hub that uh, sits across the street, there's a, a $1.7 billion uh, super hospital that's coming on stream less than 10 minutes south of our uh, development site. So, Paulo, I have to ask you, when you say super hospital, (laughs) help me out here, what does that mean? It's the first uh, fully digital hospital in North America, uh, boasting a a $1.7 billion investment into the area. Uh, I understand that there'll be nine separate buildings there, and it will also become a training ground for Queen's University and uh, University of Toronto students. So very much a training facility, state-of-the-art, Uh, And nothing like this has been done in Canada before. And Paolo, it's expected that serving a catchment area of more than 850,000 people. And of course, it's going to be the largest regional acute care hospital in Canada. And completion, they're saying, is going to be spring 2015, which is really soon. Correct. And it's it's one of three hospitals that are actually in the area and easily accessible uh, by uh, by transit or by uh, car. Yeah. Now, personally, I'd rather not be sick. Yeah. Uh, but, but if you're going to be sick, that's the place to be. And, you know, uh, w- with uh, with uh, University Heights and, and that proximity to the hospital, you're, you're poised. The area is being blessed by some major population growth. Uh, York University is forever expanding. They're building a new engineering building. And on the south part of the campus, over a thousand new uh, residences. Uh, on At Downsview Park, 
we're looking at nine to 10,000 new homes that are being built. That represents a population influx of 20,000 plus people. So lots of exciting things happening in the area in addition to uh, the infrastructure investments that are being made. And this is really the area to be, this is the new center of the GTA and the best commercial investment opportunity in Toronto. We're going to be talking about a lot of different aspects of this development, a lot of information. And I just want to remind our listeners that all of the information will be available on our website at realestatetalkshow.ca, of course. Let's share with our listeners a little bit more detail about the project itself. So uh, we've talked about uh, your company's experience, but let's walk people through. What are we talking about here? Sure. We're talking about a 160,000 square foot uh, commercial office and medical building. At ground level, you'll have uh, a retail uh, concourse and a mezzanine level uh, for retail as well. Um, Floors three through eight uh, represent about 89 commercial office condos that are available for for purchase, which is relatively rare in the office and and medical condo uh, market. Typically, uh, you know, those assets uh, are owned by REITs and pension funds and institutional investors, and they really crowd out the average Canadian investor from owning those quality assets. As, and uh, there'll be 89 uh, such units available for sale between 550 square feet right up to 2,500 square feet. And of course, at this point in time, you know, end users or investors have the opportunity to customize their particular suites in terms of uh, square footage. Now, we've talked about condominiums uh, many, many, many times from an investment standpoint. But when you say the word condo to the average investor, they picture a residential condo. So this is actually a commercial condo where you own the actual unit. And in fact, uh, Dell Management, which is the division of Tridel, if you've heard of them, you, um, you obviously have. But here's an opportunity to invest in a pre-construction commercial condo. And I'll t- I got to tell you, you got to look at this. Uh, you got to look at the visuals on this. You've constructed destination retail in, a, in an atrium, so you've got medical and other retail on the ground on the ground floor, Correct. pharmacy, etc. But it, it'll be a destination. It means being that close yeah. to the, to the transportation hub, this will be just another de- destination. We definitely believe so. Now, gentlemen, we know that there is great demand for lease space in GTA uh, in itself, especially for business opportunities. And, you know, for this kind of area, investors will do very, very well. And Paulo, I know that the range of square footage is between 550 to 2,500 square feet. But tell us maybe how it differs, you know, from a typical residential condo. One of the main differences is you have the opportunity uh, to really design and customize uh, your suite, whether it's for uh, yourself as an end user or for a tenant you may be bringing on. Very attractive for a tenant, especially at this stage in the game where they can essentially customize their yeah. own space, even though they might be leasing it, which is... To uh, suit their business needs, right? Exactly. Yeah. There are also six select suites uh, with balconies facing the new uh, commuter transit hub, which I think are, are very, very unique. Uh, designer finishes in the lobby and common areas by Ambiance Design Group. And if you look at the building, a very modern architecture uh, with glazed glass, 10-foot ceilings and office suites, wood entry doors, priced, we believe, extremely well. $233,000 will basically get you into a unit. And, um, you know, a, a doctor or dentist um, might desire a unit of uh, anywhere between 1,000 and 1,200 square feet. Of course, larger clinics and practices might require uh, double size units uh, going up to 2,500 or greater. Very yeah. good. So, so really great flexibility there. I mean, we're still early in. Yeah. So for anybody that is an end user, I mean, it's a great opportunity to really make sure it works for their business. And for investors yeah. out there, super opportunity. Yeah, let's talk about the numbers a little bit. So from an investment standpoint, uh, I may buy, uh, let's say, 500 square feet or 1,000 square feet and... Um, what are the terms? Like what's required down and what's what kind of financing is going to be typically available and how long is it going to be? Like typical, uh, you know, high-rise residential condos could be three, four, five years. What are we looking at? So first of all, what's the down payment required? At the moment that you uh, sign your uh, your paperwork, uh, $10,000 deposits required. Mm-hmm. And over the course of uh, a year plus, as we uh, get to occupancy, you're looking at a total of 25% down right now, okay. essentially spread out over a year, year and a half. And is there, is there financing lined up for 75% financing? Definitely. I mean, um, we can certainly assist uh, with that financing. A real wealth group can do that. Uh, if you are a medical professional, you'll probably be very familiar with some of the special programs that uh, the very large Canadian banks have, um, uh, helping you uh, finance 100% of your equipment costs, mm. um, offering uh, very large and very low interest rate lines of credit 
to help you uh, acquire that real estate uh, and to help you uh, fit your unit. Now, as promised, we always get special incentives for our real estate talk show listeners. So, Paulo, can you tell us what they can expect? Definitely. Uh, they can expect a, a much uh, friendlier and flexible deposit structure, which is always advantageous uh, to investors and end users. Uh, they can expect that the developer will, pass, will not pass along any development charges uh, at closing. Uh, which uh, can be that's uh, huge. That's because, massive. Yeah, we, we talk about the the rising costs. So, so so you're they're saying, capped at zero. They're capped at zero for Fantastic. a limited time. Okay. Um, there's also um, a favorable assignment fee. Again, capped at zero. So assignment fee. Just reminding our listeners that if you decide that you don't yourself want to take ownership of the unit, you know, you can absolutely sell it to somebody else. You can do what's called an assignment, and you're saying that you're not going to charge anything for them to be able to do that. That is correct. Fantastic. Okay. We also have parking available. Uh, the development boasts over 260 spots, and those spots are offered uh, at a $20,000 price tag, uh, which represents a $5,000 discount. Very good. And there's two-story underground parking, right? Correct. Excellent. So really, location is spectacular. There's so much going on in the area. But for somebody that's looking at that's their type of business, what a, what a great envelope. But more importantly, for investors out there, what a wonderful opportunity. Yeah. You know, we always talk about doing your due diligence. And uh, just to recap, we've got arguably one of the best locations in the GTA. And for you to say that, I mean, Simon, well, you're picky. Yeah, yeah. well, it, you're, you're right in the hub. You want to go where the people are. I mean, you're in yeah. the landlord business. That's where they're going to want to be. You're dealing with a developer that has a track record. And you're dealing with a great pricing structure, a great pricing model, and probably Product that has demand. I mean, uh, dentists and doctors will always be there, and all the other professionals as well. I mean, that there'll, there'll probably be demand for lawyers and uh, and uh, accountants and all the other related businesses that be looking for a beautiful professional space like this. And uh, so, huge demand, great opportunity. Okay, so I have to ask, how do our listeners get more information? What do it, they do next? It's simple. They go to realestatetalkshow.ca. Or they call our help desk at 416-366-9090. They ask for the information package on University Heights. Uh, we have a beautiful information package, all the renderings that show you a visual of what the project is, the layouts, the pricing, the deposit structures, all the terms, and the special incentive package available just for our listeners. Uh, but I would suggest you do that sooner rather than later. And I hate to sound like a, a commercial, but you better act fast on this one because I don't think it's going to take very long for, for these to be picked up. All right. Paulo Abadi, thank you so much for joining us, and what a great opportunity. Thank you very much. Yeah, great having you, Paulo. Thank you.